Today we will discuss how to determine gender of African grey parrots. Without any further ado, let's get started. One of the most common questions that prospective African grey owners ask is whether they should get a male or female bird. In this video, we will explore the differences between male and female African grey parrots and how to determine their gender. Determining the gender of African grey parrots can be challenging as both male and female birds have similar physical characteristics. However, there are a few subtle differences that can help determine the gender of the bird. First, let's discuss their physical differences. Generally, male grey parrots are slightly larger than females. Males also have broader heads and thicker necks than females. On the other hand, female grey parrots have a smaller head, a slender neck, and a narrower pelvis than males. Another physical difference between male and female grey parrots is in their eye colour. Generally, males have a lighter eye colour, and females have a darker eye colour. However, it is worth noting that eye colour can vary among individual birds and is not a reliable way to determine gender. Some owners and breeders of African grey say it's easy to discern the subtle differences between males and females once they reach an age of 18 months or more, or after their first molt. A male African grey's tail will remain solid red while a female's red tail feathers become tipped with silver. The undersides of a male's wings become dark, while a female's remains light. Other subtle differences between the male and female African grey include a more slender neck and narrower head in the female, and a rounded eye patch. The male eye patch becomes somewhat pointed behind the eye. There are slight differences in body type and size between males and females. First, consider your bird's general body type to get a gauge of whether your bird is more likely male or female. From there, you can look at more subtle physical characteristics. Number 1. Males are usually 12 to 14 inches, 30 to 35.5 centimeters, in height. Females are generally somewhat shorter than this. Number 2. The body of a male African grey is somewhat round, while females tend to be more slender. Males' heads tend to be small and flat, and their necks are shorter. Females tend to have longer necks, with larger, rounder heads. Examine coloration. Males typically have a darker and more uniform color than females. Females, on the other hand, have a gradual light to dark coloration from their neck to their belly. Number 3. This technique should only be considered in birds older than 18 months. Because the baby parrot's feathers are still growing, so the color will change with age. Examine tail feathers. Traditionally, male greys have darker tail feather colors than females. You need to check what are called the ventral feathers. These are a set of about 10 feathers found directly under the bird's tail. You can pick up your African grey and gently flip him or her over to examine the feathers. And number four, females will have ventral feathers that are edged in a shade of grey. Males will have ventral feathers that are solid red. There may be a small white hairline on male feathers. Keep in mind, this test is not accurate for young parrots. You cannot rely on tail feathers to determine sex unless your grey is 18 months of age or older. Generally, there are no reliable external sex differences. Experienced breeders may recognize subtle size and color variations between the sexes of their own breeding birds, but this is very subjective and not a reliable way to determine gender. Now let's talk about the behavioral differences. Apart from physical differences, African grey parrots also exhibit behavioural differences that can help determine their gender. For example, male grey parrots are generally more vocal and outgoing than females. Males are also more likely to imitate human speech and other sounds. Female grey parrots, on the other hand, tend to be more reserved and less vocal than males. In short words, if you are still curious to know about your grey, below are the most common six signs which may help you to determine the gender of your grey parrot by the appearance. Number 1. Male African grey parrots are usually larger. They are almost 12 to 14 inches in height, while female African grey parrots are usually smaller and their height is less than 12 to 14 inches. Number 2. Male African grey parrots have smaller neck than female. Their head is small and flatted, while female African grey parrots have longer neck. They have larger and rounded head. Number 3. The body of male African grey parrot is somewhat rounded while the body of female African grey parrot is elliptical and slender. Number 4. The tail feathers of the male African grey parrot will be fully red in color, while the female African grey parrot's tail feathers are also red, but they will possess silver hues. Number 5. The underside of feathers the male African grey parrots will be dark grey, 
while the underside of the feathers the female African grey parrots will be light grey. Number 6. Male African grey parrots have eye patches that have pointed ends. And female African grey parrots have eye patches that are rounded. It is often best to see the different shades of grey by doing just a glance. Try doing this while standing 5 to 10 feet away from the bird, while the bird is on top of its cage or play stand, just flapping its wings. If you study or stare too hard at the underwing, it is easy to second guess yourself and see three shades of grey. In males, it should appear to be two shades of grey. In females, there should appear to be three shades. By far the quickest and most popular method for visual sexing is looking at the under tail coverts. The amount of grey edging can vary widely, with some birds having almost no grey edging at all. In that event, use some of the other methods which I am going to explain. When using this method, there are generally 10 feathers that make up the V shape under the tail. The individual feathers in this grouping will be solid red on the males. They'll be edged in grey on females. This does not work on babies. Male African grey wings fall short of the tail tip, while females' wing tips will normally touch or fall a bit beyond the tip of the tail. Apart from these signs, there is another method which is DNA testing. The most reliable way to determine the gender of an African grey parrot is through DNA testing. This involves taking a blood sample from the bird and sending it to a laboratory for analysis. The laboratory will then analyze the DNA in the sample to determine the bird's gender. DNA testing is highly accurate and can determine gender with 99.9% .9 accuracy. Physically, we cannot be 100% sure to determine sex, although there are some characteristics that tend to differ slightly between males and females. You should contact an avian veterinarian or have a DNA test conducted if you want a definitive answer. This is the only way to be certain of the sex of your African grey parrot. In the end, I would say whether you choose a male or female grey parrot as your pet is a matter of personal preference. While physical and behavioural differences may be helpful in determining gender, DNA testing is the most reliable method. Ultimately, what's most important is providing your grey with a loving and nurturing environment to thrive. With their intelligence and charming personalities, these birds can bring a great deal of joy and companionship to their owners. By taking the time to learn about the unique needs and behaviors, you can ensure a long and happy life for your African grey parrot. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. If you want to be extra sweet, you can share the video with your family and friends who might find it useful as well. We'll see you with another informative video about African greys. Till then take care and stay safe.